Hello friends, welcome to electronics for you. In this video of thickness measurement, I will explain electromagnetic acoustic transducer or known as EMAT. The following topics will be covered in this video. The construction, working, advantages and disadvantages and applications of electromagnetic acoustic transducer. An electromagnetic acoustic transducer is a non-contact and non-destructive testing technique. Okay, so it is a transducer uh, which is which need not to be connected to the uh, workpiece uh, for the thickness measurement and it is a non-destructive testing. It means that no part is damaged uh, during measurement of the workpiece. Now let us see the construction. Basically, this is the electromagnetic acoustic transducer and it is consisting of two main parts. The first one is this one magnet. This magnet may be the electromagnet or simple natural magnet, simply a natural magnet. Okay, so the work for this uh, magnet is to produce the static magnetic field or causes static magnetic field. Now, second part for the EMAT is this one that is the electric coil. An AC supply of a high frequency is applied to this coil. The typical range for the high frequency AC is 20 kilohertz to 10 megahertz. Now, listen here. Due to this magnet, a static magnetic field is produced. Also, due to this coil, a magnetic field is produced because a high energy electron uh, ultrasonic wave is created here and this will flow through the workpiece. And due to this, again, um, a magnetic field because we are applying AC here and as there is AC, the EMF will change and uh, in the magnetic field. As EMF is changed here, an eddy a current will flow and this current is known as eddy current here. So here uh, one static magnetic field is there and another one is the high frequency that is the radio frequency magnetic field is generated over here and due to interaction of these two different uh, magnets it generates the Lorentz force. You can clearly see here that this eddy current is produced here, this magnetic field is produced there and due to that the third force which is perpendicular to these two is the Lorentz force which is created here uh, which is also uh, occur in the electric motor. The variation in the electrical conductivity or magnetic permeability of the test object or the presence of flaws will change the flow pattern of the eddy current. Now, uh, as this workpiece is changed or magnetic field uh, or we can say that magnetic permeability is changed, there will be change in this eddy current and this change in eddy current is measured over here and uh, we can say that this eddy current is further converted into the thickness measurement and thus we can measure the thickness by using the EMAT Okay, and various types of wave can be generated using different combination of this RF coil and the magnets. Now let us see the advantages of EMAT. EMAT is a non-contact method as previously stated. No couplant is required. So in UTM that is ultrasonic thickness measurement, generally couplant is required but in case of EMAT there is no need of couplant so you can uh, measure the thickness in the dry environment. It is not affected by the surface conditions such as coating, oil, oxide, etc. Also, uh, you need not to remove the coating of the metal. Means uh, in UTM, you have to remove the paints or you have to uh, uh, you have to make the surface smooth. But in this case, there is no need to remove the coating as well as smooth surface is not necessary. Now let us see the disadvantages. So limited to metallic or ferromagnetic product as we are using magnet and uh, electromagnetic force here. So only 
मेटेलिक और फेरोमैग्नेटिक प्रोडक्ट्स आर अलाउड प्लास्टिक सिरेमिक्स ग्लास मटेरियल्स आर एक्चुअली यू कैन मेजर द थिकनेस फॉर दिस प्रोडक्ट सो इफ यू वांट टू मेजर द थिकनेस फॉर प्लास्टिक सिरेमिक ग्लास एक्सेट्रा देन यू शुड गो फॉर द यूटीएम नाउ द सेकंड डिसएडवांटेज इज लो ट्रांसडक्शन एफिशिएंसी कॉशन मस्ट बी टेकन व्हाइल हैंडलिंग द मैग्नेट्स अराउंड द स्टील प्रोडक्ट्स ईमा ट्रांसड्यूसर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्स द हाई पावर एंड स्पेसिफिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इक्विपमेंट that are not widely available so high power devices are required along with the specific electronic devices so we can say that it is an expensive method than the utm now let us talk about the applications so the application it it will be related with the metal manufacturing process automotive railroads pipelines you can say that all these are related with the metallic measurement measure metallic thickness measurement for thickness measurement then you can use it for corrosion and erosion measurement then flaw detection such as inclusion and delaminations and disbond so these are the applications of emet